This lesson will give you information on what a mole is. In the past, we have learned about molar mass, and now we're going to apply that to a new concept called a mole. A mole is a conveniently sized package of atoms or molecules. Each package contains one molar mass of the substance in question. So let's say we had sodium hydroxide and I calculated the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. That would be 40 grams. One mole of sodium hydroxide, 40 grams. There are two skills that you will need to learn in order to use moles efficiently. Please get out your periodic table so you can follow along with me. Skill number one, converting grams to moles and moles to grams. Let's do the first one. What is the mass of one mole of KBr? In order to calculate this, we need to use our periodic table and calculate the molar mass because the molar mass is the mass of one mole. We look for potassium and the molar mass is 39. We look for Br, the molar mass is 80. We add those together, we get 119 grams per mole. Now let's go the other direction. What is the mass of 2.34 moles of sodium bromide? For this we need to set up a proportion and we need the molar mass. So we'll start with our molar mass. The molar mass of sodium is 23 grams and Br is 80 grams. So the total is 103 grams per mole. So we're going to plug that in on the left side, 103 grams per mole. Set that equal to x grams over 2.34 moles. And if we cross multiply, we will get 250 grams of NaBr. This makes sense because if one mole is 103 grams, then 2.3 should be more than double that. Skill number two, mole ratios using coefficients of a balanced chemical equation. When you have a balanced chemical equation, there are numbers in front signifying how much of the salt is needed to do the reaction. These are also the mole ratios. So in my chemical equation here, two moles of silver nitrate will produce one mole of silver carbonate. And you can do this for any pairing here. Two moles of silver nitrate requires one mole of sodium carbonate. Two moles of silver nitrate will produce two moles of sodium nitrate, so on and so forth. So we can use these numbers to do some larger or smaller ratios. Let's say I started with six moles of silver nitrate. How many moles of sodium carbonate would I need to complete the reaction? Well here, the original recipe is a two to one mole ratio. Instead of having two, I have six, so I would need three moles of sodium carbonate. Now, the amount of moles that you're asked for will not always be round numbers. They'll generally not be round numbers. So let's say I had 1.3 moles of, let's do silver nitrate again, AgNO3. How many moles of silver carbonate would that make? I can set this up as a proportion using my mole to mole ratio. Two moles of AgNO3 over one mole of Ag2CO3 equals 1.3 mole AgNO3 over x moles of Ag2CO3. And if we do our math for this, the number should be smaller than one, and it is, it's 0 0.65 moles. So these are the two skills you need to know how to do, using the mole ratio and converting from moles to grams and grams to moles. Okay, see what you can do.